So we're going to perform a task that is very controversial here in the South. You say controversial? What you mean by controversial? Guys, we're going to trim a crepe myrtle tree. Now, there's some people that are so into the way they do things that, you know, I've, I've put out a couple of videos on this already and there's always a comment. Oh, you don't know what you're doing. Crepe murder. Um, you know, it shouldn't be trimmed like this. It shouldn't be trimmed like that. At the end of the day, guys, I will tell you this. You trim the tree depending on what the customer wants. Now, if the customer says, I need my crepe metal tree trimmed, just want it trimmed, that's fine. What you do is you trim the tree and you take off everything that's going left and right and you just make a long, elongated tree, right? You make it nice and pretty. But if the customer only wants that tree to be at a certain size and height, which is usually in a subdivision like the one we're about to do, then you have to top it off, <clears throat> meaning you have to cut it from the top and, and keep it at, at a certain level because <clears throat> what happens is if you don't do that, the tree will get bigger and bigger and bigger. And then that's when they come in with chainsaws and try to just take a big chunk out of the tree. Now, in my uh, professional experience, I've never seen, uh, I've never killed a tree due to uh, severe pruning. Um, some people say it happens. I guess it does. I, I don't see where that can happen. I've seen trees cut in half, big trees cut in half by the, the main trunk and they still uh, bloom. Now, crepe myrtle trees only bloom from the new shoots. They don't bloom from the old shoots. Okay, so keep that also in mind. Now, again, the one we're about to ta uh, uh, trim in a few minutes is this one. Okay, those two trees right there. Uh, we're about to trim those two right there. And I will uh, do it real fast and time lapse for you. And again, this particular customer only wants this tree to be at a certain height. Um, he doesn't want it to be um, any bigger than what it is right now. And so what we're going to do is we're, we're going to take off the top, you know, cut it from the top, probably about four inches from the main trunk and then just clean it up on the sides and the same thing with the bottom one. And then by this time next year, the tree will be the same way, the same height. And uh, the only thing that will get probably a little bit fatter is the trunk. But yeah. So um, again, guys, keep in mind that we all have a way of doing things and is it all depends on what the customer wants. Um, if the customer wants that tree to stay at a certain height, you as a professional need to make it happen. Uh, you can't, you can, you can suggest to the customer, hey, listen, this is what looks better, blah, 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 whatever the case might be. But at the end of the day, it's what the customer wants, okay? All right, guys, enjoy.
is tree number one. Let me fix this. And then, this is what it looks like. All right. Let's go to tree number two. guys so this is what it looks like <clears throat> and <clears throat> that's what the other one looks like now certain little things that I could do um, but this is the way the customer likes it um, if it was mine again I'll cut this off right here I'll cut these two off right there I'll cut this one off cut that one off and then cut that one off right there and leave it clean until right here and then let it bloom but that's the way the customer wants it good and then the one right here same thing little things when i come back i'll probably cut that little knob right there that knob but other than that that's the way the customer wants it now we leave all the debris here for the city to pick up and we also leave the tarp and so you guys know the tarp is only like two bucks at harbor freight and uh we just add it to the price or you know you can uh, the city will not take the tarp so the customer um usually grab the tarp and then we we'll come back and pick it up but again those are expendable guys um they're only two bucks and uh we buy a whole bunch of them for situations like this we uh, seldom take the debris away um, <clears throat> because in my area the uh, the city will come and pick the stuff up so a lot of customers don't want to pay for uh, debris removal uh, unless you are in one of those uh, communities where you know they really <laughs> don't like things out there all right guys so uh, again it all depends on how the customer wants it and i know you know some of us are setting our ways guys but um we can we can suggest and educate the customer but at the end of the day is what the customer wants the customer will get okay all right guys take it easy pop spoke peace